Hello and good evening everyone. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Cubase and how we can actually simulate a guitar strum. Now there's various ways you could do that manually. You could just play the notes in. Like that. Um, but as keyboardists, it's, it's not, you know, you, we're not used to playing guitar strings, things like that. Some of us are multi-instrumentalists and can play a bit of guitar. Um, and the way we can actually simulate this is by using the trim tool within Cubase. And what I've got already prepared here is a series of four chords. All I've done is kept to the white notes, A minor, uh, gone to F, gone to G, and then finish on an E major chord. So I'm in the harmonic minor scale of A here, uh, hence why we've got a G sharp. So what we're going to do here is play this through. Doesn't sound very guitar-like, does it? Um, so what we're going to do to sort of make it a bit more guitar-like is engage the trim tool. Hold Alt on the keyboard and draw a line diagonally and say, right, I want it to do that. And then Kaboom, here we go. We got another one, and another one, and another one. And then we've got guitar strums. But hang on a second. Is it me? But this sounds a bit out of time. Because what you want, if you hear that, what we want is that last note to be on the beat. Because if we don't, it just sounds a little bit raggedy on the timing. So all we're going to do is just move these across. Oops. In large part. And what we get now... we get it more in time because before we had this. And then we actually made that. I'll just demonstrate what we had here just quickly. Let's move that. Oops. I want the trim tool, Adrian. Trim, trim tool. You would have called it the Tim tool then. That sounds a little bit funny. But hey, if you're into that kind of thing, be my guest. Here we go. So that sounds so out of time when you compare it to. So once you've done the trim, move that back in focus for you. Once you've done the trim, you've got to move your notes so that the last one hits the beat of the bar or the beat if you're changing course halfway through easy to demonstrate if you're changing a chord halfway through you'll want to make sure that that last note so if i'm saying i want it to go on the um change a chord on the third beat of the yeah third beat of the bar i just move that so as the last note hits on the third beat and then we're in time so just see what i mean so there we go very quick and easy way on how to uh, manipulate your MIDI notes to make it sound more like a strum pattern in Omnisphere. Uh, if you like this video and this tip, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and share it to the multiverse and I'll catch you in the next one.